as I recorded this video, I had the computer towers fans set to maximum. Pay attention to the changes in room noise levels as I move the microphone. Hi, my name is Trace. To get the absolute best quality recordings for CD and DVD tracks, I use this AKG C214 plugged into a Behringer Q802 USB mixer with a TC Electronics Hall of Fame digital effects pedal inserted directly into the mixer. Then I take that audio file and import it into my video editing or music software. This setup works just fine for creating music tracks alone, but it is impractical for creating music or narration tracks for videos. The computer monitor, keyboard, and mixer are so far away from the microphone, it makes it difficult for me to see the video while I'm playing, edit the video, and make adjustments to the mixer. In this video, I'm going to show you how I address that. At the same time, this is a good opportunity for me to demonstrate the effects of microphone positioning. Let's get to it. Now I'm sitting in front of the computer's monitor with the microphone on a scissor boom mic stand about eight inches away and out of camera shot. This is the configuration I'll have it in when I make talking head portions of my videos like this when I don't want the microphone or headphones in the video. The further the microphone is away from what you're recording, the less acoustic energy is directed into it. This also makes the microphone susceptible to picking up background or room noise. So to get the absolute best recording of my voice, I'll bring the microphone in close and at an angle so I don't need a pop filter. This is a configuration I'll use for recording voiceovers and recording directly into my video editing software. The final configuration is for recording my flutes into my music software. What I need to be able to do is see the monitor and be able to adjust the microphone accordingly to get the best recording of the flute. So what I'll do is move the mic further out. And maybe turn the effects on. And if I need to, I can adjust the mixer levels and microphone position from here. Okay, looks like this is it. Definitely a lot of flexibility with the scissor boom mic stand. If you have any questions, I'll do the best I can. Good luck with your projects. We'll see you next time.